Spider-Man and Wolverine are on a Black Ops mission, which involves a woman named Charlemagne. However, things go horribly wrong as they start fighting each other. During the battle, Spider-Man's spider sense goes off and he throws a punch, but instead of hitting Wolverine, he hits Charlemagne, who dies in Wolverine's arms. This event haunts Spider-Man, as he feels guilty for her death, just like he felt guilty for the death of Gwen Stacy. But what if something changed just a little bit? What if all events leading up to Charlemagne's death were the same, but everything afterwards was different? What if Peter Parker never went back home to New York? Logan shows Peter Charlemagne's sister, Alex, who was supposedly kidnapped. This sparks hope in Peter that by saving her, he can redeem himself. Spider-Man and Wolverine then drop from an attack helicopter together while Nebo, the man flying the helicopter, clears a path for the heroes. Spider-Man is still apprehensive about the killing part of the mission, but they must fight mutants who are trying to kill them. Suddenly, a woman controlling a tornado starts to pull Wolverine and Spider-Man. While Wolverine remarks that they have mutants of their own on sight, they get pummeled to the ground. Spider-Man then leaps towards Crimson Dynamo to break his armor but hurts himself in the process. Soon after, Crimson Dynamo starts hitting Spider-Man over and over again. Wolverine cuts the suit's power off, causing Spider-Man to hit Crimson Dynamo's head so hard that his neck snaps due to his armor shutting down. With their combined efforts, Spider-Man and Wolverine defeat the woman causing the blizzard. After killing the supers, it is easy for the heroes to save Alex and escape. Spider-Man decides to stay in Europe and become a disciple of Nebo, learning to hone all of his skills. Peter even ditches Mary Jane for Alex and has a long-lasting relationship with her. With his skills growing along with his reputation, Spider-Man fights against corrupt officials, inter-gangs, and even double agents working for S.H.I.E.L.D. He pretty much blows up half of Russia with himself as their leader, causing the doomsday clock to reach the brink. However, after a while, Nick Fury along with S.H.I.E.L.D. capture Nebo and learn of Spider-Man's mission in Zargoza, which turns out to be an ambush set up by the Russian government. While over in Zargoza, the three of them are collecting information until bullets start raining down upon them, leaving them with no other choice but to fight their way out together. After killing several soldiers brutally it starts to look bad with no way out in sight until the shield helicarrier is spotted above them, demanding everyone to drop their weapons. Nick Fury drags Nebo out to the Russian operatives to make a trade-off, giving Russia Nebo also known as the Rook in exchange. Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Alex get off scot-free, and Wolverine realizes that Spider-Man somehow set the whole thing up to clear their names. Nebo acknowledges aloud that Spider-Man is truly his greatest student. After the exchange, Alex gives Nick Fury their rates as hired assassins, while Peter requests Black Widow to give Mary Jane a letter for him as a goodbye forever. Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Alex go on to make the world a safer place.